Isaiah is challenging for a lot of reasons. Uh, I'll tell you one reason why Isaiah is not challenging. Sometimes we get this idea that Isaiah is hard because somehow he's being esoteric or we need to be on some like high spiritual plane. And I, I promise it's much more simple than that. Isaiah is challenging because it was written 2,700 years ago. It's, it's old and, he, and he's writing in poetry. And if you read contemporary poetry, contemporary poetry is sometimes a little bit hard to follow. He's writing in ancient Hebrew poetry, right? And then when, he, when, this, when this book is compiled, it's not chronological. So you don't read it like a story, like chapter one leads to chapter two, leads to chapter three. It's like chapter one, it's a song. And then chapter two, there's anger. Then there's chapter three, there's hope. And then the middle of chapter three, there's anger. And it's like, whoa, this is like this pastiche of ideas, right? And then fourth, for Latter-day Saints, we read the, the Old Testament in the King James Version. Beautiful, beautiful uh, translation. I love the King James. King James was uh, translated in 1611, and language moves with time, as we know. Language has evolved. And so sometimes reading the King James, sometimes you're faced with language that can be archaic. So imagine we're reading someone writing 2,700 years ago in ancient Hebrew poetry in a context that we're completely divorced from, econ the economic situation, the political mm -hmm. situation, all the little references that he has, these little towns and that we're, we're completely unfamiliar with, and then we're reading it in 17th century English. So whether you're 11 or like 71, this is a challenge. So there are tools though, there are ways we can overcome this. It's just about introducing ourselves and familiarizing ourselves with those tools.